Hello and welcome to Fara Sonico. If you saw my video on how I recreated the song A Day in the Life, you may remember that I said that I had one complaint about the Aberwood plugins collection, and that was that there wasn't a compressor inside the bundle. Uh, for A Day in the Life I had to cheat a little by using some outside compressor, but anyway those days are gone because last week Waves released a new product, a plugin that is not only a compressor, but the digital version of a legendary piece of equipment. A compressor that was used by the Beatles and many other bands at Abbey Road to track, to mix and even to master most of their recordings. This compressor was heavily modified by the engineers team at Abbey Road to fulfill their expectations. And I spent a whole day playing with the plugin version, so this video is to, to show you and give you some examples of how the plugin works and how it sounds on different sources. Of course, this was the perfect excuse for me to record yet another Beatles song, which is always fun. And I hope it's useful for you and you enjoy it. The plugin in question is the RS124, which is funny because my name is Ricardo Salvador, so those are also my initials and nobody cares. Okay, I'm sure that many of you already recognize the song. It's the Ballad of Yon and Yoga, a song from 1969, uh, from the very end of the Beatles. It was a session between only two of them, John and Paul, uh, John on electric and acoustic guitars, and Paul on drums and bass. For some reason I really love those songs where Paul plays drums. Songs like Dear Prudence or Back in the USSR. He has a very simple but powerful drumming that really works. Yeah, I'm lucky to have this one on my collection. It's the 45 record. These were called singles because there was only one song per side of the recording. In fact, the single was the A side, which in this case is the Ballad of Yon and Yoga, and the B side was uh, Old Brown Shoe by George Harrison. This was like Spotify for your grandparents, but way, way more, more cool. cool. Way and more this cool. is the reason that I chose this song, because of these drums and bass that I really like. The RS124 was a really famous compressor for working wonders on those instruments. <laughs>
Something that I love about this compressor is that it's uh, very friendly and very hard to overload. And the reason for that is that the recovery times are really slow. Even at the fast uh, setting, you can see in the meter that the needle is always back. It has very slow release times. And also the input control is at the same time the input gain for the track and the amount of compression that it gets. So as you give a track more input gain, you are also giving it more compression. The way things are going, they're gonna crucify me. The way things are going, they're gonna crucify me. The way things are going, Christ, you know it and easy. You know how hard it can be. The way things are going, they're gonna crucify me. Christ, you know it and easy. You know how hard it can be. Christ, you know it and easy. You know how hard it can be. The way things are going, they're gonna crucify me. Christ, you know it and easy. You know how hard it can be. The way things are going. They're gonna crucify me The way things are going They're gonna crucify me Christ, you know it and easy You know how hard it can be The way things are going They're gonna crucify me
So, what are your thoughts about this uh, very special compressor? Leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe if you want to hear the final mix and see the complete cover of this song. Also, I will be releasing another video talking about the very special, very uncommon microphones that I used to record the song. These are super cheap microphones from the 60s, 70s. And if you ask me about the compressor, uh, my opinion is that it's a very friendly, very musical tool that I can see myself using a lot in the future. And if you don't understand a lot about uh, compressors, uh, maybe this is the one for you because, it, like I said, it's very easy to use and also it's really easy to hear what you're doing with it. And by the contrary, if you understand a lot about the compressors, if you have a lot of them, I think you will also want to have it, because this one has a different flavor. The Superfuse is a really great option, but you have to be tasteful, because you cannot use it in every track of the mix. It's not quite saturation or distortion, but it crushes the sounds in very pleasant ways. If you want to get the RS124 with a special discount, just click on the link on the description of this video. And thank you for watching. Adiós.